ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. This is day five. Day five. Welcome to the morning of day five. Hallelujah. We're so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord. God is moving and doing mighty things in our lives. So we just want to praise him and honor him and glorify him in all of our ways. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for us coming together to celebrate this fifth day of fasting, this fifth day of submission. Praise God. We just want to yield to your Holy Spirit. We just want to walk in the things that God has given unto us. Praise God. We just want to move in the instructions. Hallelujah. We are here on day five to push through. Praise God. To do as you are calling us to do in Jesus' mighty name. May we shed everything that we need to shed and put on what we need to put on in this time. Hallelujah. We're so grateful that you're calling us to a healthier state. And we praise you, praise and honor you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. May every single ear that hears and the heart that receives you today, O oh Lord God, be blessed in all their ways. And may they be covered by the angels in the mighty name of Jesus. They're coming in, hallelujah, and they're going out in Jesus' mighty name. And may, hallelujah, they encounter you like never before in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah thank you so much for joining me if you're new to the channel come on in this is where we are yielding to the holy spirit we are consecrated to lord jesus praise god we are moving into things of god hallelujah we are serious about jesus let me say that again we are serious about jesus see some people play around with jesus some people say they believe in jesus hallelujah but when it comes down to it their faith is tested, praise God. They want to go back on their word, hallelujah. They want to lean on somebody else's understanding, praise God, rather than what the word tells them. But right here, right now, at Wheat and Barley, praise God, we're not shifting with the wind, hallelujah. We're moving into things of God because this is what he called us to do. He called us to stand, praise God, hallelujah. So if you're here, praise God, and you're not here to stand, hallelujah, then you're on the wrong platform, praise God, hallelujah. I pray that you're blessed as you're moving through, as you're moving along to find your place, hallelujah. But those who are here and said fast and fasting and following the Lord, praise God, hallelujah, just come on in and go with the flow of the Holy Spirit because we are here to do what God has called us to do, to get on our post, to stay on the wall, praise God, hallelujah, to continue to build, to be obedient servants in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, to recognize and understand that we are family to God, hallelujah, that we are his children, we are ordered in his steps, praise God, he has gone ahead of us to make a way, hallelujah, he's the lamp to our feet, the light to our path, our simple and complicated at times. Direction, why complicated, praise God? Because sometimes, hallelujah, you just have to go with the flow without even knowing what to do. And sometimes, hallelujah, what the Lord is calling you to do, it seems and appears to be complicated. But what I've learned, hallelujah, is not to look at that thing as uh, it is, praise God. I've learned, hallelujah, even when it looks complicated to me, that I lean on the Holy Spirit and I say, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, I need you right now. Hallelujah, show me how to do this. Help me to understand this clearly so that I get it, praise God. And every single time the veil is open, every single time, hallelujah, is lifted, praise God. Every single time the curtains open, every single time, hallelujah, he just simplify it for me and I move in it, hallelujah, gracefully. As if I understood it all along, y'all, hallelujah, but it's the Holy Spirit. Spirit's power. Do you understand? It's the Holy Spirit's movement, praise God. And I love utilizing the Holy Spirit because he dwells in me. And for those of you who are firm believers in Jesus Christ and you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior, he lives in you. Hallelujah. So go ahead and glorify the Lord. Go ahead and accept and move in the things that the Lord is bringing forth through the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is a witness to Jesus Christ. And you just go ahead and be obedient. Be an obedient vessel in this season, praise God. And for the rest of your life, as you walk it out, hallelujah, because we are preparing, praise God, as obedient vessels right here on earth, hallelujah, to move on in heavenly things, being obedient servants, praise God, being obedient family members, hallelujah. This obedience will not stop. So we might as well learn how to be obedient on earth in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God, hallelujah. All right, so this is day five of the fast, submission fast, praise God, hallelujah. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. We're just going to go ahead and read out of chapter 19 of the book of Luke, and we're going to focus on the eighth verse, praise God, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and read. 
And the eighth verse reads, the Kayan stopped and said to the Lord, behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, right now, we understand that Zacchaeus was a tax collector and tax collectors were not looked upon as, uh, uh, you know, um, great people. Praise God. Hallelujah. They, they were looked upon as, you know, debtors. They would take the money from the people, sometimes even um, scamming people, you know, overcharging people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Being ruthless in nature over, you know, just retrieving the debt. The debt that's old, hallelujah. And it was probably for the most part rightfully old, right? But no one wants to be taken advantage of when they're owed something. And we see a lot of companies do that today where, you know, people will go borrow and all of a sudden that, you know, interest rate is uh, just absurd, you know. So it's ridiculous in that nature. But the Lord pays attention to those things because the Lord is all about righteous judgment, right? And so we want to make sure that we are all in good standing. But here, Zacchaeus was frowned upon by the people. They grumbled and they said, ha, look at that. Jesus is going over to his house, a sinner's house, praise God. This is how they viewed him because of what he did. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And they know the identity of a tax collector and what that means biblically, right? And so in looking at that, Jesus still chose him, called him for praise God and went over to his house because Jesus knew, hallelujah, that he was going to the lost, praise God. He was going to the lost. That's what G Jesus is all about his business, praise God. Let us be all about our business, hallelujah. But verse eight focuses on Zacchaeus stopping and saying to the Lord, hallelujah, behold Lord. He said, Lord, out of his mouth. So right there, he confessed, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ was his Lord and Savior. He called him Lord, hallelujah. And Lord represents authority. It represents a uh, ruler, praise God, when you look it up, hallelujah. And so he recognizes Jesus, hallelujah, as authority, praise God, as ruler, hallelujah, over who? Him, because he said Lord, praise God, hallelujah. And look at this, he said, half of my possessions I will give to the poor. What is he doing? He's confessing with his mouth. Not only that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, praise God, but he's confessing with his mouth what he will return unto the people. Hallelujah. And he even said here, and if I have defrauded anyone or anything, I will give back four times. We already know, praise God. Hallelujah. When the thief come in, hallelujah, and identify, right? He has to give back, praise God. Hallelujah. And in, in this sense, he's showcasing himself that there has probably been most likely, hallelujah, some thieving going on, praise God. He said he'll give it back four times, hallelujah, because he know in the presence of the Lord who is truth, who is righteous, praise God, hallelujah, he's automatically confessing. He's automatically just saying, hey, I want to make this right. I want to make it straight, praise God, hallelujah, with every single person who's out here, and he's doing it in front of everybody. See, Romans 10 and 9 says, confess, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, praise God, hallelujah, and that God brought him back from the dead, resurrecting him. Hallelujah. And guess what? Jesus Christ becomes your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Also in the Bible, it lets you know to call out unto the Lord Jesus. Praise God. And guess what? He becomes your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, when you decide that Jesus Christ is your Lord, because the Lord, our God, let me say this, our God will draw you. Jesus will call you. Praise God. Just think about this. At the very beginning of this chapter, Zacchaeus, hallelujah, he wanted to see Jesus. That was God drawing him. He did not stay in that place, praise God, hallelujah. He did not stay in that place. He could have. He could have decided in that place where the crowd was surrounding him. He's short, hallelujah, small in stature, and therefore he couldn't see. He could have just decided then, hallelujah, when he wanted to go forth, he could have decided not to and stay in that position or just, you know, to go home, praise God. And he would have missed that opportunity that was presented at the encounter at the very spot where he was supposed to be in. See, this is, this is what happens to many of us, praise God. God calls us to a place, hallelujah. There's a particular place in the spiritual realm that's already set up for us to receive every single thing that God has for us. Hallelujah. It's in specific time frames, right? And so when God is drawing us to these places, he's directing our steps and everything, right? And Jesus is calling us forth. Oh, come on, come on, come follow me. You know, many of us decide, praise God, and I'm just saying us because I've done this a time or two or a few, praise God, hallelujah, where I, I felt the nudge and I just didn't move in what God called me to do. And then all of a sudden I see somebody else doing exactly what God called me to do. I see somebody else, praise God, moving in that exact thing, hallelujah, and I know that it was a timely thing. God needed it done then. 
Hallelujah. He didn't have time to be wasting on me to try to figure out whether or not I wanted to follow what he said. Praise God. And so I've learned, hallelujah, that if I don't jump on and get on this train with the Lord, hallelujah, that I'm going to be left behind. Do you understand? If I don't go ahead and decide that he's my Lord and Savior, praise God, hallelujah, then guess what? That's just like me deciding that he's not. Hallelujah. There's no such thing as being on the fix. And, you know, tomorrow I get to choose, praise God. We can't be focused on tomorrow. We got to worry about today. Hallelujah. And I shouldn't say worry, but we got to focus on today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And so in verse eight, hallelujah, when we uh, initially saw the beginning of the chapter where God drew Zacchaeus to see Jesus sit. So that was a desire. Hallelujah. That Zacchaeus had to see Jesus. But we know that drawing to Jesus was God Almighty because he drawn. The Bible tells us that. Hallelujah. And then after the drawing, what did Jesus do? He called him. Hallelujah. By name because he drew him to a particular spot. God did. And Jesus called him by name. When you are drawn to a particular place, Jesus will call you by name and give you instructions. Hallelujah. When you are obedient to the following of God. Understand? So when you are drawn, you have that urge, you you want, you know you're, you should be in a particular place, go to that place, follow the Lord, do you understand? Get to where you're supposed to go so that you can be called by Jesus Christ and follow his instructions. Praise God. And what happened? Uh, a wonderful thing. Jesus went over to Zacchaeus' house, praise God. But look at eight, right there in the presence of truth, Jesus, in the presence of light, in the presence of life and life more abundantly. In the presence of purity, in the presence of righteousness and judgment, in the presence of goodness, in the presence of love, what did Zacchaeus do? He began to confess. Hallelujah. Romans 10 and 9. He began to confess, y'all. Hallelujah. And today's message is confess with your mouth. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Confess with your mouth, hallelujah, all the things, praise God, that you have done, that you think you've done unto the Lord, hallelujah. Confess with your mouth, praise God. If you need to pay people back, pay them back in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Take care of what you need to take care of with your neighbor. Take care of what you need to take care of, praise God, hallelujah, with your family, with your friends, hallelujah, with your husband, with your wife, praise God, hallelujah. Take care of what you need to take care of with the people on the job. Take care of it, hallelujah, with the people at school, hallelujah, with the people in immigration, praise God. Do you understand? Take care of the hallelujah, the people at the barbershop, the beauty shop, hallelujah, beauty salon. Take care of it, hallelujah, when you go get your wax, praise God, hallelujah, whatever that rift is, take care of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care of it at the restaurant, hallelujah. Take care of it at your business, praise God. Take care of it, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what I'm talking about in Jesus' mighty name. The book, uh, this biblical book right here, praise God, hallelujah, this, this spiritual Bible, it is a spiritual handbook. It lets us know how we are to conduct ourselves. Let's take care of it, praise God, in Jesus' mighty name. Confess with your mouth in Jesus' name. Zacchaeus, hallelujah, he's showing us how to surrender, y'all. This fast is all about surrendering. He's showing us how to surrender, how to go from, hallelujah, being frowned upon as a tax collector, praise God. Hallelujah, being a shrewd tax collector, possibly just taking and defrauding people in the mighty name of Jesus and turning it and com being converted by Jesus Christ himself, being called, hallelujah, by name. That lets you know that there is nothing that you could possibly do, hallelujah, that's too great for Jesus Christ. He will still come and visit your home. He will still, hallelujah, dwell, hallelujah, there, praise God, hallelujah. He will still, hallelujah, give you access to the kingdom of God. He will still, hallelujah, mediate for you. He will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you've done. You just start right now, praise God. Get in position, switch, hallelujah. Do you understand? Switch positions from what you used to do to what you're going to do from this day forward, praise God, and move into things of God. Run ahead, hallelujah. You've been sitting back there for a long time, praise God doing the same old, same old. Run ahead. Hallelujah. Climb the tree so you can get a good sight. Hallelujah. That means locate, praise God, me and the women of God. Get under their leadership, praise God. Hallelujah. And start learning and start growing and start elevating in the things of God. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit move you to these places, direct you to these places. Hallelujah. So that you can grow in the Spirit, praise God. Hallelujah. And then when Jesus calls you because you've been drawn, hallelujah, go ahead and answer the call, y'all. Go ahead and answer the call in Jesus' mighty name. We're just going to go ahead and pray uh, for day five. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed by this message in the mighty name of Jesus, knowing that God is calling you to a greater consecration. Hallelujah. If Zacchaeus can do it, 
you can do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. If he can run ahead, you can run ahead. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you can be in a, if he can be in a place of encounter, you can be in a place of encounter too. Praise God. Let me tell you something. Zacchaeus was a tax collector and I'm pretty sure he uh, enjoyed the money that he was making here. Praise God. Sometimes when we switch positions, this isn't just switching positions in order to grow closer to Jesus. Hallelujah. But you know, you have to look at what you're switching. Some of y'all have to switch positions as in switching jobs to get closer. To Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of you, praise God, hallelujah, have to switch positions because the place you're living in right now, praise God, hallelujah, that's not your location. You got to switch positions and get in location. Hallelujah. That particular location God is calling you to. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Lord is switching you in, in particular places right now. He's having you, he's drawing you to particular places because he wants you to switch positions. The position you are in is not where he is, praise God. And this is for some of you. Some of you are already moving along. Some of you hear the Lord clearly and you are just, I mean, you are just doing it. You are moving along. You you are at his rhythm and pace, praise God. Hallelujah. Every time he tells you to do something, you're obedient in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank the Lord for your obedience. Hallelujah. For you being on your post, continuing to build. Hallelujah. The wall in the mighty name of Jesus, standing on your post, interceding for others, praise God. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God is a good God. Jesus is great, awesome, excellent, praise God. And we shall always be ready to serve him in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Oh, Lord God, we come unto you as your humble children today. We come unto, unto you, Father God, thanking you for your goodness, Father God. We come unto you thanking you, Lord God, for day five. Hallelujah. May it be a blessed day. May we receive the encounters like never before, oh Lord God. May we yield unto you like never before. May we obey you, hallelujah, like never before, oh Father God. Hallelujah. May we see you in every single thing we encounter today. May we be blessed, hallelujah, in all of the ways that you have poured out, Lord God. Not missing any of your blessings. Not missing your presence, oh Lord God. Adhering to your call, hallelujah. Hearing our names, Lord God, hallelujah. And not ignoring you, Father God, but moving in your directions, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Whatever it is that we need to do today, Father God, just reveal it to us, oh Lord God. Release it unto us, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, because we're ready to receive from you, oh Lord. We're ready to move in what you're calling us to move in, oh Lord. Hallelujah. May the ministries that you're giving us, Lord God, no matter where we are, hallelujah, whether we're a part of the fivefold or not, whatever ministry you're giving us, Lord God, hallelujah, I pray that each and every one of us are good stewards over the ministry and that we're obedient and consistent in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy, Lord God. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you all praises, all honor, all glory in Jesus' mighty name. And I just pray that each and every person who's on this fast that you give them strength, oh, Father God. Bless them, oh, Lord God. May they be highly favored in the land, oh, Lord God. May their light illuminate to others, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, and no matter who you call to them, Lord God, to minister to, to pray for, Lord God. Hallelujah. To intercede for, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even deliverance, oh, Father God. Whomever you're calling them, uh, whomever you're calling to them for deliverance, oh, Father God. Hallelujah. May they just obey your calling, Jesus matter who's around no matter what's going on in jesus mighty name for you hallelujah are first you are the only choice hallelujah in obedience is greater than sacrifice in jesus mighty name we pray we love you lord god direct our steps protect us keep us oh lord god keep our families oh lord god hallelujah and may this day be a blessed day because this is the day that you have made hallelujah and we shall be glad in it in jesus mighty name amen praise god hallelujah i pray that you are blessed i pray that this a prayer has uh, just just given you what you need to just move on through this day. It is a blessed day. Hallelujah. God is so good and he's worthy to be praised. Continue to fast. Be strong in it. Praise God. Steadfast. And just know that Jesus Christ loves you. Praise God. And I love you. Hallelujah. I'll see you at 6 p.m. for communion. Praise God. Go ahead and meditate on this word. Luke 19 verse 8. Go ahead and pray at the top of every hour within the hour, praise God. Don't forget to pray, y'all, hallelujah, because this is consecration time. And the more we pray, hallelujah, we become prayers without ceasing, hallelujah. That sweet incense, I'm telling you, that sweet incense, it, it, it just flows up, it flows up to the heavenly realm. It becomes a sweet aroma, praise God, to the Lord, hallelujah. And that's what we want to do.
stay in prayer. Hallelujah. So some of you may just pray in tongues. Some of you may pray scripture. Praise God. And others may be declaring a decree during that time. Hallelujah. But whatever you're doing, make sure you make time to seek with the Lord to see what He's doing in return. And that you're not doing all the talk. Turn up for God. Be blessed in our days. Turn up for God. Turn up for ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God.